Hi you guys, starting another vlog. It is Saturday morning. I feel like I have a dog hair in my lip gloss. Not lip gloss, but chapstick, which happens quite frequently with three dogs. But um, it is Saturday morning at about 11 o'clock. Dan is not home. He is his actual, his brother, sorry. His brother and his wife just bought a new house. So congratulations to them. Daniel is over there doing like the um, home inspection with them just because Dan knows like a lot about, I don't know, construction stuff. <laughs> so he's over there. He's been there for about an hour. I freaking burned my head this morning on my curling iron. I don't know if you can see it. Ow. <laughs> I like took a shower and blew out my hair because today is going to be very, very hot. It is 11 a.m. and it's already 80 degrees. So I think today is going to get to be like 97, which I'm sure if you guys live in different parts of the country, like that's not hot for you. But for us, it's pretty warm and we're still in May. So um, I wanted to like take a shower early and like do my hair before it got too hot because I cannot in the heat, cannot blow out my hair. Um, Hold on, I have to reverse. So today we are going to Old Navy in Plainville. I have to let my GPS update because again, I don't know where the hell I'm going without it. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go to Old Navy in Plainville. I don't think I'm gonna do a try on because I don't know. With COVID and everything, that's obviously, like, not the most sanitary thing. I mean, if I'm going to, like, I don't know. Like, usually when I film a try-on, it's, like, I have the intentions of buying. Oh, no, like, I don't have the intentions of, like, buying everything. And I'm just, like, trying to see how everything fits. But, I don't know. I don't really feel like that's the best thing to do right now. So, um, I will, however, like, there are a couple things I'm going there with the mindset of trying on like they have these really cute sets that I keep seeing um it's like a short and like a button down top set where like they match and it almost looks like a linen fabric or some kind of fabric similar to that so I kind of want to get one um I just think that's such a cute vibe like if you're running errands on like a Saturday or Sunday just have like a cute little matching set I would probably do like a little French tuck situation um where like the front was tucked and the back wasn't but yeah so I, I want to see if they have those um and then I guess they released these new jeans that are like they're supposed to fit up to three sizes so it'd be like for example like an 18 20 and a 22 if you're any of the those three sizes like that jean is supposed to fit you so I'm like very curious to see how they would fit. I personally like do not like um, old navy jeans. I just feel like, I don't know, I have an apple body shape and I can never get like the right size to fit every part of my body with the old navy jeans. So like I said, I'm curious to see like if these ones are different or what the case may be. But yeah, we're gonna go check those out and then the like shopping plaza that I'm going to also has a Bath and Body Works and a Ulta. I'm probably, I, I don't need to go to Ulta. Like there's nothing I need to get from Ulta. So I'll probably avoid that. But I do need to pick up some wallflowers for the house um, from Bath and Body Works. And I'm almost out of my lotions. I have been loving the body wash and body cream from Bath and Body Works. The body wash is like their moisturizing one where it, it's like a creamy body wash. So like when you like put it on your loofah, it looks like lotion. Like it's very thick and it's just very thick. And it says like it's for moisturizing your skin and like it gives, it provides some percentage of moisture over the first 24 hours that you're using it. I love them. Like they smell really good. They feel really good on the skin. They don't leave like a residue feeling um so I am on like my last bottle of that so I would like to pick up a couple of those and then just some wallflower so we will see um I did not put makeup on yet today we're also 
taking Eddie and Ryan out to dinner later for just for like a thank you for everything that they did for us for the wedding because let me just say that Eddie and Ryan literally did so much for us like Ryan in particular like love her like thank the Lord for her because she helped me so much in preparation for the wedding she came over multiple times she loaded her car up with all the stuff to bring to my mom like she really really helped me before the wedding so and then Eddie also helped a lot too like with the sign and everything um, we like loaded up the backdrop in his car and he drove it down to New Rochelle on his truck so Dan and I were like let's take them out to dinner as like a thank you so we're doing that tonight we're going to this restaurant called the White Horse it's it's in New Preston which I've never even heard of that town I think it's near New Milford so it's about like a 45 minute drive for us but I don't know Eddie and Ryan said it that like they've heard really good things about it so I'm excited um we have a table reservation for like outside and I just said it's like gonna be like 97 degrees today and I told them that I told Eddie and Ryan that like before I made the reservation I'm like are you sure you want to sit outside because it's gonna be 97 degrees and they're like yeah like in the shade it should be fine so I think by seven o'clock it should be okay you guys okay I just have to I have to mention this because like I need to know if this happens to anybody else but like I just pulled up to Old Navy it's right here you can't see because the tree's blocking but that's it right there just turn my car off right immediately have to shit myself <laughs> I'm so sorry for anyone who didn't want to know that but like does this happen to anybody else like why can't I just be normal I, I no matter what store it is it's like the second I pull up done immediately didn't have to go at the house like was good all morning all of a sudden here to go here to go in go shopping a little bit done immediately have to go okay that's all I needed to bitch about because I just did this is what I wore today but obviously I don't know what I'm talking about because I just got all this stuff so let's try it on this is cute little casual t-shirt I like the color comfortable in the summer I feel like it could be cute with like jean shorts like tucked in. Cute. I feel like I could size down in this. I don't know. Maybe not. It's cute though. It has like thick straps. I'm a sucker for anything with tassels. I think it's so cute. Um, this is in a 3X. And it's very forgiving. Like I said, I feel like there's a lot of room. I mean, it's very comfortable though. It's so cute. I like the color. It's a cute little summer dress. Let me show you that. Okay, this is the same dress, but in a different color, and I think it kind of just like washes me out a little bit. I don't love this one. Um, they're cute dresses though. They're on clearance for 25 bucks. They have pockets. I just don't like the color of this one, I think. It's like a... It's not a gingham, it's like a checkered. I don't know. Not feeling this one as much. This is like a cute little like throw on t-shirt dress. I kept my bike shirt on and I feel like it's a little short. Um, Cause like, I don't know, I feel like it's just a little bit short. It's like the pockets are like here on me like a little high. I don't know. I mean, it is, is it cute? I feel like if I were to like go like that and I didn't have the shorts on, you'd see my badge. So probably not the dress for me, but it's such a cute little like throw on moment. I mean, I guess it is cute with like bike shorts too, but I don't know about this one. What do you guys think? Okay. This is like a little bodycon dress moment. Um, I don't like the way these look on me ever because of my shape. I just don't feel like they're flattering. Cause like I have this belly here and then like a hip dip. 
Um, so I'm not usually comfortable in them. However, I do like the fabric of this because it's thick. So I feel like, you know, like it could be maneuvered in the right way to be cute, but I don't know. Probably a pass for me. Okay, so these are the jeans that are supposed to like fit three different sizes. They don't fit. <laughs> they didn't have anything larger. These are 20 through 24. Um, I typically run into this issue with Old Navy. They just never fit me properly. So, I mean, they are very stretchy, but I, I can't say much about them because they don't fit. So from Old Navy, I picked up this tank top, which was the same as a little white one. Actually, I don't even know if I showed those. I kind of grabbed these on the way out. These are like the, they're like little crop tank tops and then they have like a lettuce uh, hem at the bottom. Super cute, little crops. I, you guys know I don't wear long shirts. I like everything above, like at my waist. So got that and then I got it in white too because hi, have you met me? I need everything in white, so I got that. Um, I got another white shirt. Okay, I ruined all of my white shirts in the wash. Like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but they always come out stain. Well, I do know what I'm doing wrong. I'm not separating my darks and my white and my lights, so that's one reason. But then also, like, I will get laundry soap stains, which is so weird to me, but like, I'll get like laundry soap stains on my white shirts. So I grabbed a white top. I got this one in a 4X because I had it in a 3X and it was um, like a little too short. Like if I raised my arms, you would see my bra. So I got a size up for the length. Um, these are the leggings. Oh my God, did he leave a thing on? He did. <sighs> I'm gonna have to go back. He left the security tag on. But these are the leggings I was telling you guys about. They are, they are the Old Navy Active Power Chill Extra High Rise Leggings. And I get mine in an XXL. Um, I've tried the plus size like 2X and 3X and I don't love the way they fit. I feel like there's just too much fabric. So I get them in an XXL and they fit great. I love the compression they give me on my stomach. I feel like it really holds everything in. They are really great, but I, now I have to go return them. So they were on sale for $20, I think. Let me see. Yeah, extra high-waisted power chill hidden pocket leggings. The women hidden pocket. Wait, 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 wait. Hidden pocket. Hidden pocket. Hidden pocket. Where's their hidden pocket? Oh wow. There are hidden pockets. I never noticed. They're like on the inside right here. Okay, anyways, they were $19.52. So I'm upset that I have to go back now, but it's fine. Um, I got another white tee. I have this one. I love this one. I wear it often. I There's nothing better to me than like a white tee and jeans, short, like jean shorts, jeans. Like I just love a white tee and jeans. So I got another one in a 3X. They had their lounge shorts on sale for $10. So I just got a black pair um, in a 3X and then also this like green color, which I thought was really cute. In a 3X, they're the extra high rise vintage lounge shorts, just like cute and comfy gro grocery shopping and that kind of thing. So grab that and then I grabbed this top, which you guys saw. Um, it's just like this, bl I like the color of this. It's like dusty gray blue and it's buttoned down all the way down. Just a cute little comfy top and I ended up getting the green version of the dress this was on sale for $24.99 so I got this one and this was in, was in a this was in a 3x as well. um so I got that and then I saw these on the way out too these are like these little crop tank tops I didn't get to try these on so I don't know if they're gonna be too cropped like I like my crop tank tops to hit me right at the top of my waist, like right at the smallest part of my body. But like these might be a little bit too short and just cover my bra. I have to try them on and see, but I got it in black, white and pink. So they were on sale for like $8. So we will see how those go, but um, that's 
say I got from Old Navy. Um, I don't know if I should go back right now because I'm still in the car. I just pulled into the driveway or I should just go back like tomorrow or something, but I got all of that for a hundred dollars. I thought that was pretty good. Um, at Old Navy. And then at Bath and Body Works, I got, they had like their buy three, get three free for the body care. And I have been, like I said, I've been loving their like moisturizing body wash. It looks like this. And it moist, it says it moisturizes after a one wash or one shower. So I got the scent gingham in the body wash and in the body lotion. Ow, body lotion. Um, I got the scent Pink Pineapple Sunrise in the body wash and body lotion. And then I got Sunshine Mimosa in body wash and body lotion. Um, and then I got some plugins. That's the whole reason why I went there. I couldn't decide on a scent I liked for the summer. I was going to get the Pink Pineapple Sunrise for the house, but I was like, I don't know if it's too much. So... I picked up three more little wallflowers and then I got this scent gingham for the house. It smelled really good. Um, so I'll clean the house and then put those in. So yeah, that's my little haul. Don't mind my hair right now. I have like my little um, clipless clips in because, or are these called, what are these called? I don't know, they're like the little clips like this that don't leave like a crimp in your hair so I have that holding my hair back ouch so we can do some makeup um it is what time is it I don't even know five o'clock maybe yeah it is 4 59 five o'clock we have to leave in about an hour so I figured I'd come up here and start getting ready and chat with you guys I'm like literally again like refreshed i feel like with youtube it's so fun so i got this primer in my boxy charm it's the dominique blur and moisture serum primer i don't know i don't really notice like a difference um but it does like feel good on the skin I, it's kind of like a silicone like texture i still have my wedding nails i need to get my nails done it feels it doesn't feel too silicone -y. i don't know it's kind of like I feel like it feels in the middle of like a primer and skincare. I forgot to put moisturizer on today, so hopefully that'll give my skin a little moisture. Um, I'm also gonna use the Jelly Primer by e.l.f. I'm almost, almost out of it, so I'm just trying to use it up. Okay, I need a good self tanner. Like this is not tan enough for me. I ordered these two tanners from Amazon. Let me show you which ones I got, but I don't feel like they're dark enough for me. Um, this one is the Mine Tan Body Skin brand and it's in the color Dark Ash. One Hour Express Self Tan Foam, super dark, cool, intense brown finish. Um, I just ordered this on Amazon. I don't know. I. I feel like it got my legs darker, but it didn't get like my upper body darker. And I did two layers and I left it on for four hours. So not really loving that one. I also got this one, which I've tried once and it's by B Tan and it's, I want the darkest tan possible, darkest possible one hour self tan mousse by B Tan. Again, I got this one on Amazon too, but I feel like my, other tanners have gotten me darker in the past like when I used to do my mix of the tanologist self tan mousse extra dark and I mixed it with oh my god I can't even remember what it's called I think I took a picture of it but I got so dark with that and I loved it it was such a nice color I think I took a picture of the bottle before I threw it away I freaking hope I did because I loved it um I believe it was like an Australian brand. It wasn't Bondi Sands. It was like, 
it was something else I don't even know I wonder if I, I think I have a picture somewhere of it I don't know where but it was really good and I should just repurchase that one but if you guys have any self tanners that you love let me know because like I'm all about like sunless tanner I would get a spray tan but spray tans are so expensive like the one that I was getting the one I got for my wedding and for um like my batch did you just see that I really hope I caught that on camera oh my god thank god this is not a new shirt okay please hold I'm wearing this dress which is from boohoo like last year has a cute little slit here these are from Shein we have like a small little heel really nothing super cute so yeah and then Daniel's wearing this looking so <laughs> so yeah okay let's go look who yeah, we're with <laughs> and Daniel wait <laughs> we have this beautiful river behind us. So nice. Look at how cute this chicken is. Wait, you got chicken? Yeah, yeah. chicken pot pie is with this little horse. Because the restaurant is called the White Horse. So cute. So decapitate the horse. Oh my god, I can't watch. Dead. So, so good. And Edward got the seafood version. The, the tiny horse. Aww. <laughs> and I got some stuffed chicken, goat cheese, just pasta. Hi, coming on here just to end the vlog really quickly. Dinner was so much fun last night. It is currently Sunday evening at like 5.20. I spent the day cleaning the house, getting everything back in order, putting in the new wallflowers. It just felt so good to like get the house back. Um, and what else? I just edited the vlog from yesterday so I figured for some reason I keep sucking at like doing outros so I wanted to like actually come and officially end the vlog for you guys. I'm gonna start another one um, and then yeah we're starting a new week tomorrow so I hope you guys all have an amazing week and I'll see you soon.